Give it up for a car, everyone. Thank you. 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 Thank
that they haven't seen before. Autobots transform and roll out to a theater near you. <laughs> this is overwhelming, you know. You know, we don't often get to see this side, you know, and it's uh, from the feelings that I'm getting here this evening. It's uh, from the people that have seen it. They're saying it's it's really great, and uh, that just makes me feel so relaxed, you know, that it's been well received. Steve Kappel is a fabulous director, and what he's put together, and I'm not blowing smoke. I mean, I worked with this young man, and he is so talented. He's insightful. He has a sense of so many things. And he pulled it off, and he, he made everything take on a new light. So I probably have been heard, I've heard more than once that this is the best one ever. It's kind of an honor when you, you enter into a franchise that is as uh, part of the American quilt as this one is. I mean, it's, it's been with us almost two decades, so many important uh, voices have been part of it, and um, you, you feel as though you're being handed the reins to something that you better be careful with, and that you better show a lot of love and 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 uh, and, and 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 honor to. Stephen Cable, who, who directed this, has infused um, a lot of uh, very very modern American culture into this. Um, which is going to give it a completely new feel and a new look and a new sound. It's always fun to play a character who is as fierce and as badass as uh, Primal is, and um, but particularly what was, what was what was most attractive to me about him was the size of his heart was almost greater than the size of his muscle. The uh, the love he has for the, the people he's been um, sworn to protect. Um, is is infinite and uh, and and profound, and so that's true heroism. And and when you're an actor, you you you, you look for that. Movies have been such have had such a profound effect on me, and and I think the reason you know I'm, I'm just a a kind of a, a representation of, of how it affects everybody, the whole world. It's the best um, exploration we have into the human condition. It, it, it allows people to realize when they watch other people suffering and banging into things and finding their way to higher ground, to realize they're not in it alone, that they're not the first ones to have their hearts broken, they're not the first ones to have to fight for something that no one else is standing with them for. And uh, movies have taught me everything there is to, 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 that I needed to know about how to be a man what kind of man I wanted to be and what I needed to stand for in life. It's a big summer blockbuster fun spectacle that gets people into the movie theaters, which is really important. Um, and hopefully the, the smaller films can, can follow in the footsteps, getting people into the movie theaters. Because um, we're all, you know, one big group, one big tribe, the big movies and the smaller movies. If we can share the screens together, then it's all worth it. Well, I remember I was living in Williamsburg, Brooklyn in the 90s, which felt like a, a wasteland of Transformers back then because nobody was living out there. Um, so, and the music from the 90s, which this is infused with, it's just, it's, it's has a lot of fun to it while threatening the entire universe. Um, so no, I'm very excited. I love Anthony Ramos. I, I've known him for a while because my brother plays violin for Hamilton, and he was in the original cast of Hamilton. And I saw it like opening night at the down at before it was Broadway, down at the Public Theater, and it was just I remember seeing him and going, "That guy, he is incredible." I think it is the fun of it. I think it is the the humor uh, with the whole thing of the universe might be destroyed. Um, and, you know, I think kids, and now adults, have the association with the toys growing up. My son is now playing with the toys just like 
kids from the 80s used to do. So it's just hand in hand with all of that. The, I guess the intimacy with being playing with the toy and then seeing it on the big screen. This is wild to be here, and it's an honor to be here, to be the voice of RC for like women everywhere, for female Autobots everywhere. Um, it really does mean a lot to be a part of such a massive piece of pop culture and something I grew up with and everybody grew up with. So yeah, it's about time we see another one. There's a lot of Easter eggs. A lot of people um, have been waiting for certain little moments to unfold in this in this universe. So uh, you're going to see a lot of that finally being acknowledged because a fan himself made it. Stephen Cable Jr. Um, grew up with the franchise, as we all did, and he finally implemented all the things and details that we've wanted to see for so long, including giving RC a little backstory, too. So I'm really, really proud and honored to be such a cool disciplined, devoted, divine, feminine woman in this kind of man's world. It's huge. I mean, you just said legacy, and that is exactly what it is. And I'm just like a little speck, and I'm really happy to be that little speck, and I'm thankful. I'm very thankful. It's a, a long line of movies that have come out. I've watched mostly all of them, and it's kind of crazy to see myself as a part of it and one of the bad guys. I'm excited for the audience to experience the different Transformers that are coming into play, like the Maximals. A lot of people haven't seen that on screen. They haven't seen an allyship like that before, too. So I'm really glad that they'll see them and also see how they transform because it's totally different from a regular Transformer. It's obviously based in New York City now, so that's a different landscape from what it's been based in before. There's a little bit tenacity, a little bit audacity, and I think when we see Prime, he's at a different place. This is a different kind of Prime that we've seen before, you know, and also with the allyships of the Maximals, it's bringing out a whole different kind of, like, scheme. So I think that's what's going to be changing it up a little bit. The appeal is uh, Transformers. I was blown away, but of course, yeah, I couldn't believe it was in the 90s, which is all my favorite stuff. It's Sandler, The Mask, it's uh, Wu-Tang, it's all my favorite hip-hop, it's, uh, it's, it's the best. Steven's the best. I'm very excited to be here. Steven is, uh, gets all the credit, man. He, he called me and he's like, let's have some fun in the booth. He showed me a cut and he, we kind of just, you know, made this thing together and had a really good time, but he was just like, go nuts in the booth and have fun. And I'm really psyched. I, I can't believe like I'm, I'm even here, really. Like, this is crazy. This is really, really cool. It's everything. Like, I grew up watching this stuff. I was like, as I was pulling up here, I was like, oh, wow, this is, this is wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can see, I've not done many of these, but yeah, this is really sick. I'm stoked. The movie's amazing, and uh, I'm just happy to be a part of it. It's really cool. This thing is crazy, man. I mean, like, just as far as, like, the action, besides, like, you know, Ramos and Dominique are amazing. Everybody's great in it, but, like, uh, you really can tell who's fighting who. Like, the, the, the way that Steven directed it and just the, the music and everything, the whole vibe. It's, it's a really crazy, crazy experience, and I'm very excited for everyone, and I'm super excited just to be a little part of it. Of Transformers is just surreal. I... I... I grew up playing the toys. That was my toy when I was growing up. And it's crazy to think that now I'm one of them. Um, and in what way it's a new take of the Transformers universe. It has a Latino scenario, Machu Picchu, Peru. And I, I just hope this brings more opportunities to more Latino talent out there, to more Latino scenarios. And I'm just grateful with Steven, Mark, Lorenzo, and all the creators for giving me the opportunity. When I heard the news, I was ex screaming of excitement. And when I finished screaming, I thought to myself, I just hope they, they let me keep some Mexican expressions, some ways of speaking from who I am and where I come from, from Guadalajara, Mexico, and, and, and I'm glad they did. So Will Jack, when he, hurt, he went, when he hurts himself, you will hear him saying like, ay, ay, ay. And, um, and that means a lot to me for representation. And it's, it's just, I still cannot believe it. And I hope like the people like uh, the, the film and what I did with Will Jack. It's special, you know, being a fan of the franchise as a kid and now being here, you know, making a mark in history and being part of the legacy of Transformers is, is huge for me. Um, feeling really good, I'm feeling really good, especially tonight, being in New York, it just, everything feels right, you know. 
casting choices, you know, with Anthony Ramos and Dominique Fishback, um, a pretty diverse cast overall. Uh, taking the characters to new places like Optimus Prime, he's not the Prime that you know just yet. New villains like Unicron, finally giving him a voice. And of course we got the Beast, right? The Maximals, which stick out from the rest of the franchise because we actually never seen him in a live action film before. I grew up in the 90s, so for me it was like, what music do I want to hear in a film that I don't get to hear too often? You know, uh, so placing these sounds inside of a movie or a movie that's going to be played in theaters, it's like amazing because now you get to feel the full acoustics, get a vibe, and it really sets the tone for the rest of the film and kind of puts you really in the right place for the 90s. We have people clearly before me who paved the way, Michael Bay, Michael Bay, who's been with the franchise for a very long time and established the tone and setting from the rip. So for him and what he's done, uh, it's been iconic. You know, it's part of the reason why I'm here. And the same with, uh, tr um, um, sorry, Travis Knight, who did Bumblebee, you know, so these guys, they held the torch and they held it well, you know, for them to pass it along to me and I just, I just hope I did it right, let's just say that. I play the part of Ape Link, which is another maximum at the beginning of the movie. It's a beautiful couple scenes and, and I'm excited about that along with Battle Trap, you know, the Terracon. And the Ma I got two Maximals of Terracon and of course we have um, Rhinox as well. <laughs> I don't think you'd ever want to see this at home because if you can see it in the theater, you have so much technology now. You have the 4D, you have the IMAX, you have all sorts of ways to really enjoy it, and it has to be seen on the big screen. It felt amazing. I mean, playing Anthony's brother is such a blessing. He's such a beautiful person, and you know he throughout throughout um set, you know he always gave me tips on how to do, deliver the lines and how to get better every time, you know? So um, I just, thank you, Anthony, man, Papa, I love you guys. You know, I just want to thank uh, Stephen Capel Jr. and all the executive producers and everybody that worked on Transformers, you know? It's really a blessing. It's a throwback to the 90s, so it takes place in Brooklyn. You can hear like artists such as Tupac, Biggie, and Nas, you know, Toby and Wigwe. So it's kind of cool that you have these older artists in this, you know, newer generation, and we're just showing like the old times to the newer people. The battles are amazing. This is my fourth one, so it's 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 even better the fourth time. Uh, no, it's it's really thrilling. Um, you know, Transformers, man, more than meets the eye. Was, I grew up playing with them for crying out loud. So to be a part of this is 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 a big deal, and it's. And it's really exciting, and this is a, and, and where they shot this one is just like it's mind blowing. So visually, it's going to be stunning. It's people going to be really blown away. You got to come see this movie. It's it's ridiculous. It's so amazing. It's got an incredible soundtrack, great cast. The visuals are stunning. The special effects, mind blowing. You just, it's I can't sell it more. I just you know it's just yeah. I don't, I don't want to feel like a, I don't want to feel like a car salesman, but I got the car. I got the car. It's interesting having done all these Transformers. It's sort of like a, a pact we've made with the audience that we have to give you an experience that takes you to some far off place, a lot of laughs and some great action. So that's our aspiration. The scope of this movie is really on a grand scale. I mean, we, we travel all over the place, but we go to a most unbelievable location, Machu Picchu. And so the grandeur of that, the ancientness of that, for a battle, it's one of the great ones we've done. One of the reasons we picked 1994 in, it was because it's such a great year for hip hop music. And so it really gives Brooklyn, it's, it's a time and place feeling and it gives the movie a lot of upbeat energy, you know? The music of these movies, the cinematic universe, is legendary. Steve Jablonski, huge shoes to fill, and I was extremely in awe of trying to write the music for this film. But I hope the fans like it, uh, and I put my everything I could into this. The movie's set in 1994, in Brooklyn, so I really wanted to make sure that you felt the cultures of the people where our heroes are set. So we have a little bit of Brooklyn hip hop at the first half, when we go off to Peru, make sure we feel that Afro-Peruvian rhythms, and at the end of the movie, 
It's a little bit more, let's say, synthetic, before, to not say too much. But every single space, it is a Transformer score. It is big, it is epic, it is full of action, heart, humor, but it still folds in the, the je ne sais quoi, the characteristics of every environment we're in. It's iconic. That's what I can tell you, it's iconic. I mean, it's so surreal. Uh, I can't believe I'm voicing Cheetor. It, I'm, I'm still, my mind is still kind of like piecing these things together. So I'm just very honored and blessed to be a part of this. We grew up with, you know, the Optimus Prime. And so now, and I mean, I know that the Maximals came just a little after, but I was so, so enamored by their world. And so just to be able to bring this now, you know, in the now, it's, 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 it's amazing, it's amazing. I'm really, really excited about it. Just from what I've heard, I'm, I'm really excited to see what this is all about. I think the entire film is immaculate. I think the story is incredible, the action is incredible. The, the all, all the new things that's happening that have never happened in the franchise is incredible. I'm just happy. What makes this a fresh take on Transformers is all of the new things that are happening in the film. I don't want to give any spoilers, but there's just so many things that have never happened in the franchise that are happening in this film from beginning to end, literally. It means that I'm part of something way, way bigger than just my vision. Uh, my children can see uh, see me and themselves in a place that uh, uh, that they haven't seen before.